That was quite a ride, Spyro. You learned a lot since you were a young glider. Yeah, well, you could have found an easier spot to get stuck. <laughs> Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part 5 of our Spiral the Dragon Reignited playthrough. Like so, we're going to the Beastmakers world now, which is a swamp world. And the whole gimmick behind this world is kind of weird. I know it's supposed to be a swamp, yeah, 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 that, that's the main gimmick. But that's not what I'm getting at. The whole weird thing about this world is, it doesn't have a huge amount of gems, it, and it has barely any dragons. I think the level with the most dragons is 3. It could be four, and I think, uh, what's it, Misty Bog? I just realized there's always like a marsh or a bog level in every single Spyro game. Some kind of swamp level. Yeah, so it's an electrified swamp, and we have 300 gems, two dragons, and... Uh, no, we don't have a skill point to level one here. Hey, that one had a life, nice. Even though I was already full health, that one had a life. I'll take it. Hello, chickens. Oh, and the music here, too, is just... It, I always felt like this world didn't fit Spiral 1. I don't know why. It just... I always felt it kind of be... Kind of be weird. Here's the first level, Terrace Village. I believe it also has, in my opinion, the hardest of the, um... The, uh, Speedway levels. Just because for some reason this one just feels like it's more difficult. It might not actually be. For all we know, it could be. Also, both dragons are literally right here. There really isn't much of a challenge. This is, uh, Misty Bog. It was Misty Bog. Okay, I wasn't going crazy with what it was named. That's my favorite level here, by the way. It's just a super cool level. I like the look of it. It always looked different. Also, I'm pretty sure this is, like, the jump scare part. In the original, it was way creepier. Because those pigs were a lot more intimidating, but that pig would just come barreling at you from around the corner and scare the living daylights out of you. It's like jump scare in a spiral game? Seriously, man. Oops. That's what I get for doing this stupid charge thing. Let's go back and get this first dragon while we're here. Okay, just don't be like me and uh, do that again. Anyways, our first dragon is Bruno Mars. Nasty Nork is turning our swamp into an electrified junk heap. <sighs> and it used to be so beautiful. I'm sure it was. Yeah, Spyro, by the way, isn't a big fan of swamps. And I don't blame him. Like, I like swamps in real life, though they are kind of full of bugs and everything, but they are a detrimental part to our ecosystem. Also, there is something down here. Most of these are filled with, like, poisonous goop and stuff, but not this one. This one also has some of the only water in this game that you can actually step in, by the way. Also, if you want the achievement, those blue mushrooms you see everywhere, you have to flame them. But I already had the achievement done, so... Yeah, no point. And we have Cletus. Spyro! It's great to see you, but I gotta go. And that's actually what it says in the original. They didn't just change one of the thank you for releasing me dragons. No, that guy literally is a thank you for releasing me dragon without that actual line, which is kind of cool. But at the same time, I don't like dragons like that. They just feel like they throw them in for no reason. Also, those chickens are already naked. They're, they're, they've already had their feathers, but this level, this level is infamous to the spiral community treetops as probably the hardest spiral level in the entire trilogy. I wouldn't say in the entire game, Market Mesa back on the Game Boy was pretty difficult, even though that came out afterward. Also, a key chest. I just realized that last world only had one level with a key, and that was the home world. You'll start seeing the key chests a lot again. There's a gimmick that shows up uh, in Spyro 2 and 3 that you'll see like a lot and then disappear. Also, enemies have splash effects in this game, which I always thought was cool, and they did that in the original too. Like, the original actually had splash animations, which was super cool. Also, these guys do show up multiple times. Like I said, a few enemies in this game actually do show up multiple times, but it's not like a hero's tale. 
where they show up like 6,000 times because they only have five enemy types. Also, can I have that gem? Thank you. Man, these chickens clucking is just ridiculous at this point. All I hear is the dreadful clucking of the godlike chickenators. Alright, so now we have to go over there. So, timer jump, right? This swamp actually looks really good, though. Except, this doesn't really look like a swamp anymore. It looks more like... Like we're on like a river or like a lake or something, and it just happens to be a swamp. The swamp has more landmass and more marshy stuff than that. Also, I feel like I'm missing gems somewhere, because are there really going to be all the gems right here? Oh, maybe. Eh, we did. We got all the gems. So I'm thinking we do the most infamous level first. Treetops. Let's go. Ooh, I'm not looking forward to this level. I love the level, but I always get confused at one specific point, and it always baffles me how I do that every single time. But, yeah. This Coca-Cola is delicious. 30% sugar, though, in one can. Ridiculous. Considering brisk iced tea tastes sweeter, yet has, like, 2% sugar in a double-sized can. Alright, so we got some kind of thief dude that wakes up enemies. Interesting. And now we got weird monkey guys. See, also, unlike A Hero's Tale, this game, while focused around norks, doesn't only have norks. And we already found a key. So you what I said about the key thing coming back a lot? Yeah, it does. And I'm not entirely sure why. Also, how would throwing bananas at Spyro actually even hurt him? Like, I don't see how that would actually really do anything. Like, just bananas. Like, you go, ow, you wouldn't lose health from it, though. It's like getting a snowball thrown at you that doesn't have ice in it, you know, just snow. You might go, ow, as, like, a reaction. Does it actually really hurt you, though? Not really. Mmm. Oh, yeah, we didn't go over the turtles. 500 gems and 3 dragons. Also, I don't think there's a skill point here. No. It's the next world that has literally four. There's like, what, five levels in every world, and four of them actually have skill points? That's pretty nutty. Anyways, our first dragon just so happens to be Lyle. Greetings, Spyro. For an amazing tour to treetops, don't just stop at one supercharge. Ha! Huh. That's actually super useful information, considering we actually haven't had the opportunity to, to use multiple uh, thingamajiggers till right now. And what you actually need to do is you need to hit this one, and then jump over here, and then jump over here, and this gets you to the hardest to get dragon. Also, a ton of gems are over here too. Thank you for the gem. Yeah, thieves at this point in the game, and they only show up in this level and then the very last level of the entire game. Or I guess the last two levels of the entire game. They only drop gems now. And now we have Jed. That was quite a ride, Spyro. You learned a lot since you were a young glider. Yeah, well, you could have found an easier spot to get stuck. Nah, he's so adorable. I love that dragon. He has a creepy little eyeball things, but he's still super adorable. And yeah, funny thing is, those two dragons, just like the last level, were side by side, which I find really kind of odd. Whatever, I kind of want to just... Oh god, don't knock me off the cliff again. Or not again, just, just don't knock me off the cliff in general, please. You can eat that while I try and grab this gem, thank you. Thank you for the one-up. Uh, not that platform. I always take that one for some reason. You gotta grab this one. Now, to break a chest over here, you actually need this one in particular, and I completely botched that for whatever reason. I just forgot to jump. Like a moron. We all have our dumb moments, right? So I need to come back for that one, but that leads us to the exit anyway, so it's not like that big of an issue. We have about half the gems, though, so that's good. We have, well, technically more, but close to the halfway point, I guess. So, let's take this whirlwind. We also need to find the chest and everything, so we still have some stuff to do. You do need to take this uh, speedway, though, to get up to the upper part. 
Which is the part that, for whatever reason, I always forget how to do in this remake. I remember it in the original like it's nothing, but in this game, I don't know why I forget it. Just a weird, bad habit. And it's only this level that I forget what to do. Even though I know what to do. I love the sound effect. Also, oh yeah, he wasn't over there yet, so technically we couldn't have went to that point in the level because we needed him to get back to... Because he goes to the very end of the level on that upper platform. And if he's not there, you can't get all the gems, because he's packing gems too. So, you kind of do need them. Hey, and there's the last dragon already. Oh, let's see who you are. It's Isaac. Spyro, if you jump at the end of a supercharged ramp, you can really go far. I'm all over it. Well, while that's true... <coughs> Excuse me. You really gotta focus more on the uh, whole multiple supercharge in this level, not just one supercharge. Also, the fact that supercharge in this game ramps up over time instead of uh, just gaining max speed right away makes it kind of annoying. Oh. Uh, oh. That's another dumb death, but we're only 11 minutes in and we've almost completed two full levels, so that's not bad. Is this the one that I need anyway? I think this is the one that I actually do need. So, we'll take this way now. Yeah, it is the one I need, because this looped around over here. Aha! Now we should only need to go and break that one chest. So, then we'll have everything here done. I think. Oh, maybe not. You can't tell me that... They might all be in there. I don't know. We do need to go back, though. So, we need to go the original way we went. I don't know if I'll edit this part out or something. Oh, yeah. All the enemies that we killed... Wait. Why did I hear enemies? I shouldn't be hearing enemies, should I? This is the beginning of the level, right? Because we need to go to the left again. This level isn't as bad as I remember it. Though, if it's your first time here, you're bound to kind of mess it up. I think it's just the level it creaks. Actually, that is a metallic charge chest, so... It could technically have... Um... that many gems in it. So, we'll see, we'll see. And just not have our charge work. Why did it get stunted like that? That was weird. Can I go back? I really have to do the long way. Oh, wait a minute. No, we're at the right one. I just realized that I gotta die, because I took the supercharge thinking I was at the other one. Oh, I forgot. If you go near a platform in this game, it'll save your progress. Unlike the other ones, in the original Spyro, uh, you actually have to physically step on the platform to not only uh, activate it as a checkpoint, but to actually save your game. Like, if you turned off the game... Wait, that wasn't all the gems at all. Weird. How did I miss gems in this level? I've never had that before. Also, you can't check um, gems while gliding, charging, or doing anything like that. So, wait, where where is he pointing? He's pointing way over there. Don't tell me I missed him. Like in that one. Actually, I have no idea where he's pointing at. No, oh, he is pointing over this way. Could have sworn we had gotten everything over here. Huh, interesting. Very interesting indeed. Oh, pff, right here. Doi. I don't know why I forgot those ones, but now we can just take this to the uh, to the exit. Woo! -hoo. 
We did complete the level, right? I wasn't paying attention. Anyways, there we go. There's another level done. Alright, and 500 gems to the collection. 5,300 gems. Yo, yeet. Alright, I guess in this episode, or in this episode, I guess the next level we're going to be doing is... Oh, yeah, since the speedway is over there, I guess we'll do Misty Mar- or Misty Marsh? Misty Bog first. This loading screen, eh, kind of looks like methane gas emissions, but... Yeah. It's a good level, though. Don't get me wrong, it's, it's a genuinely fun level, and I think you guys will enjoy this one the most when you play this, but... Yeah. It's only 11 o'clock, and we're already d almost done recording, uh, like, an hour's worth of video, so that is pretty good. We're already on a good streak. I do need to record more Crash Bandicoot because I did fix the issue, so that will also be on my uh, project list. I'm just recording this because it takes longer to set up the, uh, um, my Xbox to record than it does an emulator, so, yeah. Also, tree enemies. This level actually has a ton of unique enemies that aren't in any other level, including trees, those like trappers, it has attack frogs, and cool stuff like that. Plus the music here is pretty good. This is actually the music that they use for the credits in this game, by the way, for those who didn't know. And I think actually in all three Spyro games they use this music. You guys don't sound like frogs anymore, though. They sound very manly. Wait, did I go over the totals here? I don't think I did. Uh, we have 500 gems, 4 dragons, and no skill points, like I said. Only two of the levels actually have skill points here, which is pretty interesting, I guess. Alrighty. Righty tighty, like, white tight. Oh, I didn't even notice these tree enemies. What the heck was that? He just, like, spun around me. He didn't grab me or anything. He just... I'm not forgetting more gems again like an idiot. Thank you very much. Anyways, we do have our very first dragon over here. Do I want to grab him first? No, let's grab these first. Oh, come on. I thought the pig was going to hit me, so I kind of stopped. But no, that guy ended up hitting me. Of course he did. Why not, right? Now we can grab our first dragon. Which is... Roscoe. Be on the lookout for attack frogs. They are cold-blooded killers. Attack frogs? And this used to be such a nice swamp. Uh, you, you repeated what your brother said. Wait, are all the dragons related or not? I still don't know that. I don't think the game's ever told us if they're related or not. And I guess we'll never find out, unless we get Spyro 4 and it tells us in that game. So, yeah. Yeah, see, this level doesn't really look as much like a swamp or a bog, though. Like I said, it kind of looks like a lake. Also, I like the little houses over there. Tip for these frogs, especially in the original, go over to the side. Their attack was way more deadly in the original, because they would attack you from a greater distance and were way faster. Kind of like that, but way more frequent. Oh, come on. He stunted my charge, man. Hey, the next dragon already. Alright, I don't think we missed anything over here, so let's go grab this dragon. I think he's a thank you for releasing me one, I believe. And we have Damon, Matt Damon. Thanks for releasing me. It seems like I've been trapped in here since I was your age. Oh, no. Why? I remember... Uh, uh gotta go. Alright, yeah, thanks, buddy the dragon. And yeah, now we can just glide back over here. So I did take the right way where it does loop around. <clears throat> Alright, so now we gotta go that other pathway that we'd seen. I always like this part though, this random dock-like thing where you just smoke a bunch of enemies. It's just super fun. Wait, did you not? Uh. Also, one of the only trees in this game that you can actually jump on, which I find kind of funny. <laughs> God, everything here sounds so intense when it dies. It's like, oh, even though it's just a tree or a frog, you know? 
Kind of crazy, considering those animals don't sound anything like that in real life. And we have Zeke. Thank you for releasing me. Oh, he was the thank you for releasing me one. Also, funny thing about that guy was they made him really old. One thing about these boars or pigs or whatever they are, they they do um kill other enemies for you if they charge into them. Like these ones right here. That's not at all how that was supposed to happen. Because I want to see if I can get him to... That's what I was trying to show you guys, is the fact that he would do that. Now I have to manually pick up all the gems. Luckily, Spyro's hitbox in this is a little more generous than the actual original games. For picking up gems, the Spyro was actually really tedious. And that's why Sparks was so important, other than the fact that you'll die without Sparks. But, you know. Oh, look. We got a dragon over there, and that's the last dragon. Yay. This is actually technically the end of the level, too, because the exit portal's right here. But I guess we'll grab this dragon and see who he is. It's Bubba. I'll tell you what to do with those creatures. Smash them, Spyro! Stamp them out and squish them and squash them! <laughs> <laughs> How about charge them and flame them? We are dragons, after all. Oh, that is going to be the thumbnail, hands down. I just love that pose that he does. It's like, ah, you're thinking, Spyro. I didn't actually have to tell you what to do this time. The dragons that don't have to tell Spyro what to do are probably like, oh man, yeah. This, this guy is learning. We don't have to teach him anymore. Also, it'd be really nice if I could get some health, because... Also, I really love the waterfall sound effects here. I, I never get to play with a headset on, so it's just like... Super nice listening to some of these sound effects that you normally wouldn't get to hear, except for these freaks. Like I said, for whatever reason, every enemy in this game sounds so intense. I no idea why. And that should be everything. So now we can just go back this way and exit the level. Do we have time to do another level or two? I think we have time to at least do the speed way in this episode. I was hoping to do the entire world in this episode, but these levels are a little lengthier than most. So, yeah, anyways, that's another 500 gems to our collection. Bring us to, what, 6,800. Not bad. Now we just gotta go do the speed way, and I think we'll end the episode there, because Terrace Village... While not a super long level, it does have some backtracking segments, and then the boss level kind of does too. So we'll do uh, Wild Flight, and that'll probably be the end of this episode, so let's head in here. I will also be uh, remarking like the points in time like when things happen in, this, in the videos. I stopped doing that because I started mass uploading, and at a point in time I just wasn't impressed with my quality of recording, but now everything's back up to being on par with like how I want things to be so yeah also I don't know if I'm doing this in the right order this is one that doesn't really have a good set order how to do things in because it's just so like mushed together like it's a bunch of just stuff happening all at once like you got the planes again I think the planes have been in every single level or every single speedway right at least I think they've been in every single speedway maybe I don't even know there we go, we got all the planes. Uh, now where's the way out of here again? In the original, it was a lot easier to tell, like, where you were supposed to be going, because things looked different. Oh, wait a minute, it's... Hang on, it's this one right here. I'm gonna screw up because I couldn't tell which one it was. Ugh, thank you. Come on, give me enough time to keep going on, man. I don't think I'm going to, because I think I missed a few important ones to, you know, continue our trend of not losing, but, because, like, these boats and stuff here. Luckily, these guys are worth three, though, so as long as I can keep finding a few of them. Now, as long as, oh, no, never mind. We beat this in the first take, too. We beat them all in the first take. Nice. So that's another 300 gems. Sweet. Ah, 7,100 now. 
right on. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, join the Discord and the Patreon link below, and I will see you guys all next time for another exciting Spiral the Dragon video. Bye-bye, guys. I said bye-bye, guys, stupid recording hardware.